Welcome to my beautiful Pisces. Here I was thinking that September 2024 was going to be the start of new beginnings, new romances. But Pisces, you're not following that same trend that everybody else is going through. So if you have Pisces in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or you're a cross watcher, then this reading is going to be for you. Now remember that not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. I have pulled three cards from the Soho Mystic Tarot deck, and I have played them out for you. So no need for me to shuffle and go through all that stuff. But let's take a look at what's going on for you in September. But first, go ahead and put your birthday in the comment section below. That way you can find people that have a similar birthday with you and find your birthday twin. Now let's go ahead and start your reading now. Now the trend that I've been seeing was new beginnings for a lot of people. But Pisces, you have the Three of Swords as your main energy. And the Three of Swords is just really what it seems. I kind of feel that you're going through a time in your life that there's been a lot of tears shed, a lot of sadness, a lot of heartbreak. So you are either in this energy right now or you will be this month. But the Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak. And with the Lover's card being the crossing card with it, I kind of feel that you thought this person was going to be someone that's going to be there at the end of it all. You thought that this was your person, but they caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of arguments, a lot of conflict. There could have been a third party involved that broke you two up or a third party that took them away from you. But the energy that I'm getting for you for 2024 is that of endings. Ending with a person that you thought was your person, your end all be all. Just like the picture depicts in the lover's card. The picture represents Adam and Eve standing in the garden in Eden. But we all know what happened in that story. The serpent, a third party, got involved and developed mistrust between the two of them. That is what the main energy going on with you. So what is your course of action now? Well, that is explained with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a card of being a loner, being alone for a while. But in being alone, you tend to surround yourself with people that you trust. You're taking more into account who you surround yourself with. You're in that energy of being sharp and intelligent and very perceptive. And you may come off as very intimidating for those people that do not know you very well. But all in all, underneath that tough shell is a person that is very loving and very loyal. You may tend to avoid grand displays of romantic gestures. But any person pursuing you must realize that there has to be a lot of patience with you. Because a queen does not let her guard down very easily. You should be very selective of your potential partners. Even now, when you're trying to find your independence and self-sufficiency. You value your own space and your own identity. And sometimes that requires you to make some adjustments and to create clarity and boundaries within any relationship. So like the Queen of Swords, you are ready to cut the BS out of any situation. And that might come off a little bitchy. But from all you've been through, that's acceptable. You are a queen. And people must realize that about you. Which leads us to our final outcome, the Sun card. With the Sun card comes light, life, and warmth. This is a card of happiness, celebration, and fulfillment. Yes, you may have had a very crappy month with the Three of Swords, the betrayal, the deceptions, with the person that you thought was your person. But think of it as a lesson in life. Learn the lessons from that relationship. Learn to look for those red flags and cut that all out of your life. That is why you have to be in the Queen of Swords energy because you need to cut that BS out. Only then will you have your final happiness with the Sun card. There will be brighter days for you Pisces. You just have to learn how to get there. How to keep the people away that are toxic from you. And be a little selective right now. They are going to have to be patient if they want to be with you. And that will bring happiness towards your life. That is all I have for you, Pisces. For those of you that stuck around to the end, thank you very much. Please hit that like, share, subscribe, save, and repost this Pisces video. If this video didn't resonate with you, please check your other placements in your chart. I'm sure you'll find the information you need in the other readings. Also, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment, that would help me out a great deal. Thank you, Pisces, and have a great month.